Hello, you are welcome to the chemistry presentation. Video lecture is here and it represents the most important part that is the earth. Earth itself that uh, we are in on the planet and then alkaline earth metals are represented by uh, our planet and those are the most one itself is the calcium and the magnesium, barium, strontium, calcium. So there are lots of examples are there and these can represent the alkaline earth matter. The question is there why they called the alkaline? Alkaline itself concerned with the basis. So they have the test what we have can say that uh, they are the slippery materials known as the bases and alkaline. So because of that alkaline uh, nature and these are directly related with the earth. Earth itself consists of the number of uh, compounds and uh, one of the compounds represents the calcium as well as the magnesium because uh, we have to see the metamorphication of the earth when there was the earlier how earth was formed and then major constituent is also the calcium one. So calcium carbonate one is the limestone and that represents many of the area in, uh, on the earth and that is the calcium compound. So calcium carbonate itself is one of the examples. So here magnesium and calcium both are related to directly with the earth. We have to see where are the position in the periodic table of uh, alkaline earth metal. That's uh, the first one itself is the magnesium. Magnesium represents the uh, above the magnesium we have uh, that is the beryllium. So beryllium concerned with the beryllium what what that particular uh, mineral. So similarly, magnesium relates with the magnesium. Magnesia and as well as calcium relates with the calcium carbonate. So uh, we have to also see when uh, the picture is clear that uh, alkaline earth metals are in the left side of the periodic table and then known metals correspond towards the right side of the uh, that is the right side uh, of uh, periodic table. So let's we start with the uh, uh, present, uh, presenting the alkaline earth metal and there are the examples, those examples are the directly correlates and major one is the beryllium. Beryllium and then the magnesium, the name represent beryllium, the strength, the electronic configuration of the beryllium atomic number beryllium that is the atomic number four and electronic configuration of beryllium one s2 so complete s orbital is filled with two electron and then two s2 in that particular case the s atomic orbital represents the two electrons so therefore four all four electrons are represented by two s this is the chance for the beryllium so beryllium having one s2 as well as two s2 so four electrons are represents uh, are there in the first cell that is the one s2 then in second cell two electrons are there and those are in the outer shell, the outer shell itself in case of the beryllium is second shell. So uh, I think all of you well know about the quantum numbers. So uh, in my um, one of the uh, video lecture that quantum, represent, uh, quantum numbers are given very extraordinary. So all of you have to see that particular uh, video on the quantum number. Because why the importance of these quantum numbers related with the alkali metal, alkali earth, alkaline earth metals. Alkaline earth metals represents general configuration, general in electronic configuration. 
and that is the represented by the whatever that uh, we can represent that n s 2 n is to can be represented so that is the general electronic configuration of alkaline earth metal and before that inert gas configuration is there so helium inert gas neon inert gas argon inert gas then we have the krypton so those inert gas configuration are here and plus n where uh, the small n represents the principal quantum number as well as that is also represents the period number so period number and principal quantum number what about those suppose we have the 3s2 so 3s2 in that particular case the period number is the 3 and two electrons are filled and that one in the case of the magnesium so magnesium represents the third periodic table the third period in which the electronic configuration represents the uh, inert gas neon uh, electronic configuration where the 10 electrons are there so inert gas configuration uh, nearby magnesium is the neon so 10 electrons are filled like that of the inert gas configuration and two electrons remain where they are represents in the outer shell so outer shell electrons that is also the covalence that is also that is valence electrons so two electrons can be there but here uh, what we have to, to give the answer that um, the alkaline earth metals uh, in some cases they share the electrons so the valence electrons are like that valence electrons is the sharing of electrons in some cases what are the covalent compounds can be understood so, but this the major one is the, these are the ionic compound so what happened in case of the ionic compound magnesium one thing this combined with the chlorine the formation of magnesium chloride one of them carbonate, suppose we are taking the anion in the form of the carbonate, or that can be with the sulfur. The oxygen, that is the, the family, what are the oxygen family? Oxygen family represents the oxygen and the sulfur. So here alkaline uh, alkaline earth metal form the respective oxides. In general, because oxygen is also one of the major elements which present on the earth so uh, here the calcium is also one of the major elements that is present in on the earth so oxygen and calcium one more thing is there calcium oxide magnesium oxide so here the beryllium oxide strontium oxide barium oxide and then calcium is in the <coughs> radioactive so here we can say uh, that is the confidence and confidently we can say that uh, beryllium magnesium and the calcium these represents the most of the uh, earth uh, uh, concern and here one more thing is there and that is why they form the cation so what is the answer behind that because that is also important uh, relevant for the formation of different compounds example magnesium this form magnesium salt so here one more thing is uh, represented and that is what we have the acid base reaction acid base reaction the simple example whatever the we have the hydrochloric acid so hydrochloric acid reacts with the calcium hydroxide so what will be the product here calcium hydroxide the base hydrochloric acid the acid so acid combined with the base calcium hydroxide reacts with the hydrochloric acid then the special salt is formed that is the calcium chloride so in uh, on the planet these represents 
in the form of their respective compounds and most of the compounds the oxide one thing carbonate calcium carbonate magnesium carbonate calcium oxide magnesium oxide but more thing is there they are also concerned with the sulfates so in the uh, um, in, in many of the area calcium sulfate where is it is the calcium sulfate. calcium carbonate represents the limestone lime stone calcium carbonate that gives the calcium oxide that is the lime so there is the great application of calcium carbonate in the for human being because the calcium carbonate itself uh, uh, represents one of the constituent of uh, whatever the different infrastructure building materials so here very important is concern about the alkaline earth matter general electronic configuration here we can also represent the ionization potential so what about the relationship whether they form what type of uh, what or what type of chemical bond one question is there so this can be represented that uh, what type of uh, bond is formed here you can say the ionic form ionic bond is formed in between the alkaline earth metal as well as the p block uh, elements so calcium chloride this one is the ionic bond one more thing is there uh, which cation is formed which cation is formed can represent which cation itself is formed you can say the calcium plus 2 is there so calcium plus 2 that represents that is the calcium plus 2 representation so calcium plus 2 cation is there and this combined with the chloride ion so here calcium chloride is formed so what are the next one uh, we can see the slide of uh, the next uh, representation here all of you are well known the what are the metals and then the alkali alkali uh, what are alkali can be represented with the group 1 in the periodic table then we have the alkaline earth metal so alkaline earth metals are block, uh, these so in this particular case we can get the information relevant for the alkaline earth metal more thing is there and those are the transition metals so where the transition metals are situated nearby alkaline earth metal general configuration of our alkaline earth metal that is the what we have discussed then in case of the transition metals transition metals are the 3d elements and those represents the what was the transition transition is the in the particular case the electron goes to uh, inside the valence shell so valence shell the outer shell so when electrons are filling to fill up uh, then electron go to n minus 1 shell so that's why the transition matters so then we have to see uh, the uh, yes so uh, we can see uh, yes uh, uh, are you here is so we can see uh, the different uh, here uh, the different aspects regarding this so here we can see that uh, another one known metals so this can also represents the known metal so what we have the known metal also concerned uh, with the formation of uh, the compound so alkaline earth metal okay uh, for example sodium uh, the prote- uh, the uh, calcium the so calcium form compounds with the known metal and known metals are where Those are present the P block elements, and P block elements are where those having in the filling of P atomic orbital. So therefore, uh, non-metals have also the uh, uh, exception role, 
and we get number of compounds which represents what are those. So now we have to see uh, how many number of uh, alkaline earth metals in the periodic table. We have to see the periodic table where the six numbers of the alkaline as we have already discussed the beryllium, magnesium, calcium, okay, those three, and then strontium. Then we have the barium and one of the one more thing is they are concerned about the use of the calcium in our life. Why calcium itself is important in our life? Uh, all of you know about the other, our body, our body structure that is made up of different uh, X, uh, different uh, uh, vital materials. So one of the vital material represents the uh, that consists of, that contains the calcium. Out of your can guess that particular special calcium related vital materials are present inside our body. And anyone can give the answer that can definitely provide us that is the calcium phosphate. So, calcium phosphate, what are the combination? The phosphate. The phosphorus from the non-metal and calcium phosphate itself that represents our strength in the form of bones. So bones related material itself is the calcium. One more thing is there, calcium, uh, this uh, can also gives the hardness in the water. Why? Because the calcium uh, and magnesium salts those represents the hardness in the water because uh, there are the uh, calcium carbonate concerned compounds calcium carbonate calcium sulfate magnesium carbonate magnesium sulfate these inorganic compounds which represents the overall earth and those definitely causes the hardness in the water so that is one of the issue why water is hard towards the leathering phenomena when we wash the cloth. So we have the very significant role of the alkaline earth metal. One most significant then that is the bones. So bone represents calcium phosphate. So certainly that represents the issue of the alkaline earth metal. Whereas the magnesium is also represents that particular. One more thing is there. Here, all of you are well known about one of the little, um, that is the barium. So, all of you can imagine. What happened uh, here? Because when we see the whole alkaline earth metals, the whole alkaline earth metal represents from the beryllium, magnesium, calcium, and uh, then strontium, barium. Uh, whatever we are talking about that the calcium phosphate and calcium itself is essential for us. We are uh, taking the calcium in the form of the milk. So milk, whole milk represents the calcium amount and which, the, which is the need. One more thing is there, calcium tablets are available which we are using because of the calcium deficiency and one more thing is there. That is the represents the vitamin D. So here you can see this alkaline earth metal, the calcium represents direct direct relationship with our body. But barium, barium that is also the same group. Group number is the same. The period so so group is the alkaline earth group. So all of you know about that, that uh, there uh, always uh, there the cut, uh, the die cation uh, means the uh, two positive charge on every alkaline earth metal. Similar, calcium plus two is available in the form of the cation. But barium is the toxic. So this can be compared with our uh, whatever our uh, human health and if suppose the barium came 
in the form of contamination in water or the pollutant in the water. So what happened? Barium and calcium having the relationship. Relationship because they are in the same group. So in the bones, if uh, calcium is substituted because the barium added in the form of the pollutant, so calcium can be substituted easily by barium in the different bones of human being and there that is the calcium phosphate and calcium can be substituted so all of you can imagine that the body becomes the flexible because of the barium so barium is always uh, whatever there is the similarity in calcium and barium so if uh, contamination so therefore barium itself is the toxic in nature for ourselves, for the human end, because the uh, bones of body can be damaged and uh, the flexibility in the bones. You can say whether it suppose barium amount is more and more in our body, then our body becomes the flexible. So all those bones become the flexible because of the substitution of barium by the calcium. So the calcium has the great role in our life, whatever we can ask concern that is present, represents the total hardness in the... So here alkaline marsh metals are of the six chemical element and in the group two here the periodic table corresponds the group of elements include the beryllium, beryllium also one of the whatever that is relevant with the health concern as well as the most one barium is and then radium, radium itself is well known that is the uh, whatever the radioactive so here uh, uh, is also so now here the same thing and uh, the elements highlighted in yellow on the periodic table in the graphic belong to earth, uh, alkaline earth matter. Here is the look of location of the properties of these elements. So properties can we can see uh, what are the properties, what are the characteristics of these elements. The major characteristics of uh, alkaline earth matters and that is uh, whatever the uh, two positive charge appears on the alkaline earth matter and those can be represented so therefore the cation having the plus two charge so therefore uh, we, in alkaline earth metal no plus one charge why because they are the concern of the electronic uh, what are the uh, inert gas configuration system so according to inert gas configuration system Therefore, the octet is completed. So, for the uh, for the uh, completion of octet, it uh, easily uh, gives two electrons. So, therefore, in this is the electronic configuration. So, we can see the periodic table: barium one s two, two s two, magnesium. This can be represented by the one s two, two s two, two p six, and three s two. Then, similarly, in case of the calcium calcium the atomic number 20 and that the electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 and 3p6 and then 4s2 similarly after calcium we have the strontium strontium what are the 18 plus 20 that become the 38 so here uh, sorry uh, so here also uh, the same configuration uh, except what are the 4s2 and 4p6 and 5s2. So here, in case of the strontium, the general configuration indicates that the 5s2 electrons are there. Now, uh, in the s atomic orbital, they have uh, outer shell uh, two electrons. So therefore, in this particular case, of uh, they can easily uh, drop two electrons in a state of one electron so therefore the ionization potential is relevant and that defines that uh, the cations of uh, alkaline earth metals are 
of the plus 2 charge. So calcium plus 2, magnesium plus 2, there is the existence of the. One more thing is there, the compound formation with the known metal. So here we can represent the, that is the oxygen. So here oxygen and whatever the halogens. So halogen having the fluorine and chlorine. So if suppose magnesium we are taking from the alkaline earth metal and this combined with the known metal. So known metal itself here is the oxygen and the sulfur. So what will be calcium oxide? Okay, then the calcium sulfide, magnesium oxide, magnesium calcium oxide. So here the sulfur is also relevant. That is the calcium sulfide. One more thing is there, and uh, the uh, calcium can combine with sulfur and oxygen. So, what will be the product? Calcium, sulfur, and oxygen. And that is represented, that is the sulfate. So, calcium sulfate, uh, uh, this one is the one of the, the concern, uh, one of the concern of the minerals and ore. Calcium sulfate itself is the example of the gypsum. So gypsum itself, what is the gypsum? This is the calcium sulfate relevant compounds where water molecules, so one of the characteristics of these alkaline earth metal is also that they have, they can take the water molecule. So calcium sulfate can take two water molecules. So that is the gypsum. What is that gypsum? Calcium sulfate and dot twice of uh, H2O. All of you know about the plaster of Paris. So plaster of Paris, this one is the calcium sulfate and, and dot uh, water molecule. So here half of water molecule is liberated. So that is the plaster of Paris. What are the role of the plaster of Paris? So POP, this represents the calcium sulfate. Gypsum also the same thing. So here uh, calcium sulfate, one of the great property of the calcium sulfate. That is related with the solubility. Solubility and relationship of the solubility of uh, salts and, and that the, they correspond with the effect of the temperature. So in case of the calcium sulfate, the calcium sulfate, the solubility is inverse towards the temperature effect. So it is mostly the calcium sulfate is uh, whatever the concern of the precipitation at the high temperature. So at low, low temperature where uh, this can, uh, at high temperature, that is the most soluble. Uh, that is the less soluble. So here, because at high temperature, that will be so reverse effect of the generally what we have when salt are uh, dissolving the solution is formed and relationship with the temperature so what happen when temperature is increased the solubility of salt is also increased but in case of the calcium sulfate is the reverse one so how we get the calcium sulfate from the periodic table because calcium earth metal, alkaline earth metal and oxygen that is the non metal as well as here we have also the sulfur is also taken. So calcium sulfide one thing then another calcium oxide and both are combined with each other that is the formation of the calcium. Sulfate is similarly carbon and oxygen that is the limestone calcium carbonate is formed. So this is the combination, this is the uh, what were the mutual understanding between the calcium salt and the earth because all those represent the so, the, the, so that's why alkaline earth metals are called. Now we can say the another so all of you can see about this now uh, yes so uh, whatever I have discussed about that uh, the positive two cations are formed so why uh, alkaline metal they the chemical properties and in this particular case because of their tendency to form plus two cation and plus two cation the 
alkaline earth metals are reducing agent what do we mean by the reducing agent reducing agents so that can easily reduce other things so the role of the agent so what about the role reduce others actually and so therefore alkali metals uh, uh, similar to the alkali metal calcium strontium and barium dissolved in liquid ammonia to give solution here the solvated electrons although these have been heavily studied as those of the alkali metals so that like alkali metals they also reacts with the ammonia now um, here are the some of the questions related and uh, whatever those questions we can represent first question is related with the hydride so how hydrides are there that is the metal hydride and the role of metal hydride itself is very important and then uh, so here the question represents the can beryllium hydride be prepared by combining with the hydrogen through the heating here the answer is no why all of you well known about that hydrogen is one of the uh, new energy source but the problem is hydrogen is what happen when we are using the hydrogen then easily that uh, can represents the fire that may be explosion occurs when hydrogen is openly used so here uh, beryllium hydride this can be combined with the hydrogen through the heating so all the alkaline earth metal except this their hydride can be prepared by combining with hydrogen we can prepare beryllium hydride through the heating of beryllium chloride so that is the abstraction that is the difference between beryllium and alkaline earth metal however one more thing is there that is the lithium aluminum hydride so with the help of lithium aluminum hydride that is the great uh, uh, chemical a uh, lithium hydride Uh, that can be explained in our uh, the, uh, that uh, our uh, other video that is the reducing concern. So now the another question and this question is uh, which of the following is the best route to prepare beryllium? Here also we have a concern about uh, beryllium. So why uh, this uh, beryllium is uh, having the differences with the others? So all alkali earth metal combined with halogen at the elevator temperature and forming the respective halide. The thermal decomposition of uh, diammonium beryllium fluoride is the best road and to prepare beryllium fluoride and beryllium chloride. So why? Anyone can give the answer why beryllium differs in that particular. So here. Uh, then uh, we can say uh, the correct answer is the thermal decomposition of diammonium beryllium fluoride so why the beryllium uh, differ uh, beryllium has the role itself differs from the other alkaline earth metal how we can say what is the characteristics behind what uh, the fundamentally property is there so one more thing is there beryllium when we have to see the size of the beryllium as compared with the other alkaline earth metal so because of the, uh, the size the very small size as compared to other so this uh, uh, how this beryllium combined with the large size halides so because of that particular case uh, the beryllium size is uh, relevant for the now the, uh, this is also correspond with the beryllium powdered beryllium burns in order to give uh, here uh, one more thing is there so burning after burning uh, we can say any of the metal undergoing the process of the burning 
So powdered beryllium burns in order to give uh, the beryllium nitride. Why nitride is given? In this particular case, we have to know that the beryllium is kinetically inert to oxygen and water. It forms oxide film on the surface. So that is the detection of that particular beryllium. But whereas the powdered beryllium burns brightly on ignition in the air in order to give the oxides and nitride oxide. This is also, so here in the form of the powder. So that is more reactive as compared with the, uh, uh, so in case of the beryllium powder that can easily burn. Now, what is the color of the beryllium? This one, uh, all of you have well known, uh, beryllium, <laughs> very uh, toxic uh, in nature. And because uh, they have the similar properties, the calcium plus two, the barium plus two. So you can see uh, uh, those have the uh, differences. So uh, here the barium itself is toxic as compared with the other matter. The color of the barium, uh, what were the brick red, the crimson, apple green and blue out of these the correct answer is the c so how the color of barium strontium and calcium are what over the apple green the crimson and brick red so these are the colors of their flames and we have to see the uh, uh, flame uh, is there and we can identify the qualitative test of these particular, this can be easily, whether the calcium, whether the strontium, whether the barium. So here the question, these are the colors of their flames, the color occurs when the electron is excited and jumps into the higher energy level and then drop back. So what about the means? They emit the radiation in the form of the visible light and the visible light, there is, Therefore, uh, what we have, the electron is transferred from one orbit to another. So therefore, uh, when uh, one orbit to another and then come back. So is there uh, any possibility for the Earth? Because Earth also revolve in an orbit. So different electrons are also revolve in their special, uh, their relevant orbits. Where is the electrons are represented, and these can be compared with the earth. Earth rotates, uh, earth uh, continuously round with uh, for the uh, rotates uh, after rotation and then continuously move the earth. Similarly, electrons are also moving. But what happened when electron first of all excited? So what about the excitation because of the use of the energy? So that is the flame, so that is the energy is given in the form of the heat. So flame itself heats that particular, uh, that particular alkaline earth metal and then, so when electron jumps, excited and jumps into higher energy level. So is the energy possible for the earth, whether the, this can jump to higher orbit, so that is the one drop back. So they emit the radiation. So in the form of visible radiation. So therefore, that gives the uh, different colors. So let's we have the another question, and which is the following element magnesium related does not form an alloy. With which of the following element magnesium does not form an alloy? What do we mean by the alloy? Alloys are the what are the alloys? When uh, any of the metal, for example, here metal, magnesium, any of the metal combined with another metal or another elements, and then they form a functional uh, substances. So, what about the functional? They have the specific properties, specific characteristics. For example, iron, and this can 
uh, get uh, if iron is alloyed with uh, other metals or non metals then stainless steel is formed so that is for example iron combined with carbon and silicon then we get the plain carbon steel and then further so metals and alloys differing so alloys in which uh, we get the very functional compounds so that is the most important concern so here the question is uh, from the following element magnesium does not form an alloy Man manganese one thing aluminium another thing zinc barium so this is the magnesium combines with a few of the elements like uh, uh, aluminium alloy so those are very specific alloys we are very advanced technologies are included with the magnesium alloy so magnesium aluminium alloy which are very light in case so whatever if suppose we have to make the light vehicle so therefore we can use the magnesium so magnesium combined with the uh, aluminium so definitely they form a um, alloy which are very light in mass and are used in construction of the aircraft so this is the simple thing so for example aircraft needs uh, if uh, we have the high mass uh, alloy is there high weight alloy is there so that it will take uh, so if instead of that high mass alloy and these uh, low mass uh, low weight or low mass alloys are used so therefore magnesium is one of the important element important metal and this uh, so here uh, the magnesium combines with the few elements like aluminium magnesium zinc and in order to form a lot of magnesium aluminium alloys which are very light in mass and are used in the construction of the aircraft there are also many other uses of the magnesium now the question is related with the milk of magnesium what is this milk of magnesia and the correct answer magnesium hydroxide so you have to know the milk so what is the color of the milk the white so the same thing so here but there may be some coloration that is the magnesium hydroxide so magnesium hydroxide is the correct answer so suspension all of you know about the magnesium uh, hydroxide is used in the medical purposes so here the suspension of the magnesium hydroxide in water is known as the milk of magnesia and it is used as antacid what are the role one of you know about the acidity in our cell so acidity is one of the great disease for I mean, for all of the human being so antacid in order to treat the acidity so this is milk of magnesia and here the great application in the medical science so what are the application of uh, magnesia milk milk of magnesia this is antacid so in the constipation in the uh, whatever the uh, diseases related to the gastric problems so it is one of the best example of the antacid and that is the magnesium hydroxide suspension and uh, therefore these medicines are uh, now the one more the reduction potential of alkaline earth metal uh, is uh, whatever the question less than alkaline metal why what is being supplied the reduction potential any of the idea about the reduction any of the idea the, what about the you can see my video lecture on the reduction oxidation reduction so what do we mean by the oxidation in the sense of the electron transfer reduction electron transfer so in case of the uh, oxidation that is the de electronization and the reduction the electron so that is the potential relevant so in this particular case the answer is the less than their alkali metals so although the alkaline earth metals are reductant in the nature the reducing potential is not as greater as the alkali metal so this because of the reductive potential they have 
useful for the different technologies. So beryllium has the negative value and compared to the whatever that we have already discussed, the specific characteristics of the beryllium and in its work, this is due to the large hydration energy associated with the small size of the beryllium. So here, because of the size, here also, so all of you are welcome to uh, ask me the question if any of the difficulty related with this particular video lecture then any of uh, uh, either any of uh, can ask me the direct question on my mobile number mobile numbers are given as well as my email id that is the rc.chipa at the rate of my gyanbear.com uh, com so all and one of the most important informations that uh, Suresh Gyan VR University uh, is one of the great university and that concerned the internationally uh, operated uh, courses are available in the different disciplines including the chemistry so all are welcome to visit uh, the Suresh Gyan VR University for any time they can visit to the Suresh Gyan VR University for to see the internationally infrastructures in, and, and as well as the human resources of Suresh Gyan VR University are also of the great value. So that is all about. So we have learned how alkaline earth metals are relevant with the earth and how these are the reduction concern, the oxidation concern, and these can be compared with the alkali metals as well as the most of the reactant reactions with the known metals. So uh, whatever we can get the calcium carbonate very useful compound and very ample in number rich amount uh, calcium carbonate is present in rich amount that is in the form of the whatever the calcium carbonate itself uh, is known as the limestone. Whereas the magnesium concerning compounds are also important, we have also seen the milk of magnesia and that is the for the medical purpose and that can represent the antacid. So that's a very significant and very uh, whatever the fundamentally the uh, chemical chemistry is also relevant. There is the coloration, whatever the cations is form the dication plus to charge there in these particular cations as well as they form the different compounds with the known metals represents the carbon, the oxygen, the sulfur, and the halogens. So calcium chloride, calcium carbonate, calcium carbonate, carbon and oxygen, calcium sulfate in which the calcium, sulfur and oxygen. So I think uh, all of you can understand my uh, information, my relevant knowledge. So you can share this particular knowledge to your colleagues and get uh, innovation regarding these. Whatever we have seen, that lightweight material are used for the purpose of the aircraft. So for example, if suppose we have the air fighters, so those particular air fighter needs the lightweight alloys so that is possible with the help of the magnesium so magnesium alloys are the important one more thing i have given the toxicity of the barium so barium itself is one of the toxic it's suppose barium is gonna shifted by calcium then definitely there will be so many uh, health hazards for the human being so that's all about it so all of you are welcome to ask me the questions. Okay, all the best and keep safe and represents with yourself with the knowledge updation.